Andrew Nielsen is Director of Campaigns at the Howard League for Penal Reform. Joins me now. You're not going to particularly thank me for this question, but does it work? Yes or no? Good morning. I think uh, the jury's out in that um, this has just begun um, and it is a new approach. Um, there's been a long term kind of debate between two positions. One is the idea of um, putting all kind of terrorist prisoners and prisoners of extremist views in you know, entire prisons as mm. we did in Northern Ireland during the Troubles. Um, that didn't work very well in, in a prison like the Maze. Um, once you had prisoners who were all uh, you know, the entirety of that prison were all prisoners with, with uh, a motivated uh, single political ideology. Uh, it made that prison very difficult to run, and, and arguably the prisoners ended up running the prison in, informally. Uh, so in recent years, uh, we've moved away from that, and the approach has been one of dispersing people around the prison system and keeping them on the move so that they, they can't um, create networks uh, over any length of time. Um, but there have been criticisms of that now. So, so this is a new approach. I, I suppose it's an attempt at a middle way between the two. So yes, uh, terrorist prisoners, prisoners with extremist views will be placed in, in one, one place, but it won't be an entire prison. It will be, as you say, a, a, a centre or a prison within a prison. How will we know, ultimately, Mr Nielsen, whether it has been a good idea or not? Well, I think we'll know, I suppose, if um, the prison system doesn't produce future uh, terrorists. Um, there have been, in some attacks in Europe, evidence uh, that um, some of the attackers uh, possibly were radicalised in the prison system.